attended a lot of Xenos. You might have seen him around. Uh, he did mm. pretty okay to good, depending on like how well he did. How well he did? Oh my god, that's such a non-statement. <coughs> he had some. He had some times he didn't pop fighting, up. Fighting. Let's see if he can do it now. Bonkai's definitely no slouch, and I assume he's been putting in work with PT, the character. I think he's been using since launch, if I'm not mistaken. Although yeah, I'm so he made PT on launch um, because he was tired of the SS, I guess, and then he started picking up CSS again once the. Uh, at a certain point recently. But I guess he's trying to get back mm -hmm. to his uh, Smash Ultimate roots. Oh. I'm not sure how much of a difference would make in this matchup. I think this match was actually pretty okay, I would say. Uh, at least, I'm, obviously the character I'll see more in this situation would be Lucina, but uh, you've got a good challenge on characters like Portal and Ivysaur, but you can keep yourself safe enough that Charizard has to hit you with something that you're not expecting to really get killed early. So, oh my god! Actually, put them under the stage to cancel the fire there. Good. <laughs> he called out the run across the stage and grab him. Very nice. Yes. Gee, he 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 I will come to the Uh oh. Doesn't actually want to protect it. Whoa, no! The day is mine! Oh my god. Oh man, this place is terrible. He was at like 40. I mean, he did get uh, stabbed in the face. <laughs> he definitely got stabbed in his big puppy face. Oh no. He wasn't even at 40, he was at 39. <laughs> good gravy. That was good though. I mean, if you're gonna take advantage of Marth, you better hit those tippers, and they certainly look put in work. Jeez. Visor's no slouch when it comes to weight either, is she? Or he? I don't know which one it is. But. Yeah, regardless of whatever Ivysaur may be, uh, it's a good dog. Good leaf dog. Ivysaur isn't real. Ivysaur is whatever you want it to be. Yeah. And so, we're seeing the switch over to uh, CSS. Dang. It's a good choice. CSS has a lot of really good buttons for getting out of disadvantage. Um, a lot lighter. Than most of the trainers' uh, characters, only well, the exception of Squirtle, obviously. Um, we what? I'm confused. You okay? Like you're cutting out a lot. Oh, uh, is this me? me? No. Uh, Kevin, do I sound as though I'm cutting? I've been having a little bit of trouble with the. Uh... So it may be moved. Hey. Right, Hawkeye has a pretty decent early lead when starting some battles. Actually, it's pretty much gone now. After like three hits. A full minute in, and they've only done like a collective 100% damage. Yeah, it's uh. Oh. I feel like this match was going to come down a lot to like... I think I really have to dance around a lot of these moves here. Not necessarily 
necessarily because ESS doesn't do damage, but because if he really wants to put on big damage that's not just planting neutral hits, he needs to like get in the danger zone. And that's really scary to do when you're as light as ESS is. You can definitely see that. Um, and it's also like both of these characters are punish characters where they primarily want to try to weave in and out of their own space to bait out a, uh, an attack and eventually get some kind of a uh, big whip hit on him. This is like X is very apprehensive about going for anything out of a landing, and uh, that up there looks pretty solid from Bonkai. Yeah. 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 That was uh, a good response to the FD. Alright, Bonk uh, X trying to figure out how to uh, really get this stock. This change from Bonk has actually been smart because it is really hard for most characters to kind of get a bead on ZSS, especially because Foot Kick does have uh, that invincibility, then tangibility, sorry, uh, for a lot of the move. And a lot of characters have a tough time punishing that, not to mention she has a lot of really good out of shield options. So trying to hit her shield uh, can be pretty difficult safely. For the majority of the yeah, cast, it becomes a big question of like, what is the hard read of if you need to see us? If I do something to say, like, say aerial, or if I hit her shield and it's not, you know, safe enough, then I either get punished out of shield or she's gonna put kick out. And pull the pinner down. You gotta have the right uh, responses on hand for him. You know, Maka is just nobbing any head for the whole three minutes, and uh, X is not going to be able to take that first stock. I and mean, Maka is just willing to play this as slow as he needs to uh, in order to ensure that this match is going to go his way. All right, very good ledge trouble from, uh, from X to get the kill. But he's got 80% margin to make up, and uh, the way Bonkai is playing this, uh, this matchup on it's going to be really tough to do. Yeah. That was a little far out for the uh, down smash there. I think maybe he uh, he was hoping away. for that exact situation to happen, to happen where X comes in to try to punish it, but he's not fast enough. And uh, Bankai is able to up B. The problem is that the second hit of the up B did not link like Bankai probably wanted. It, so oh. Kill. I see what huh? you're saying. Clever. Oh, the eye. And sometimes whiffing moves outside of your enemy's burst range can be really, really, really good. Especially if you have to play a character like ZSS who has a really, uh, a very high commitment, but very powerful and pretty kind of reliable out of shield move. Then I didn't think that, um, like, gun down that well, but I suppose that they're- Oh, oh Jesus. And there it is, uh, a Nair at the right percent, and he's, uh, dead. There we go. <laughs> he better do that right. Funny thing about that is that I think, I think even if that hadn't worked, that was, like, not at all a big risk to take on Bonkai's part. Oh, like, if that absolutely not. What, he returned to the ledge? Eh, no biggie. So, it's really scary to play... I think when you get to those ranges where DSS can start hitting you off stage with like just a stray errant hit, that it becomes really difficult because then you're trying to play patient with this character who can take you off stage and potentially edge guard you with all these safe pools. Don't like the that Trump that was really smooth. These are both like really explosive characters who have the ability to actually like get some nuts damage uh, when they really need it. Uh, the main difference, honestly, just is like how safe they can play at, uh, at mid and far range. Uh, Marth doesn't have that capability like ZSS does. I, I like the replay on that one too. That was a very clean whiff punish on uh, the Marth whip. He jumped right over the second hit. He got his confirm off of it. That was really tight. Wow. That's there, I feel is another really big deal for this matchup because there's kind of a general space where DSS can hit and there goes just a bit farther than that sphere of influence and if you pepper it in here and there you might think like oh you know I've got the space figured out I just hang around this area waiting for a win 
catches there at 60, so a throw, full kind of throw aerial. Oh, you rush to it. So, Battlefield is like the classic mod stage. At least if you're not like playing melee where it's FD. But, uh, I'm not sure if I really agree with it against like DSS specifically. Oh, that's a uh, good platform trap. How come? Is it because of, uh, split kick on the platforms in general, like, uh, keep away? Or. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just a lot of. ZSS is a really quick character, so a lot of the camp really well. Um, it does require uh, Marth to do some really good reads in order to uh, to get those hits when she's landing on the platform, just because of how much mobility she has. Granted, Marth is no slouch when it comes to mobility, and he has like some good hitboxes that cover a lot of space, so maybe he can keep up. I feel you. I think, um. I don't know if it's in Marth's favor, may outweigh. Or may not outweigh CSS's, like you say. I think that things like Marth dropping down uh, forward air or up air, or being able to land on the platform, is not necessarily counteracted by CSS's ability to start those platforms. But it might also just be um, player preference for the matchup. Yeah, it could literally just be uh, this is my preferred stage, this is where I want to go, kind of thing. Yeah, I want to play Reach Out to the Truth, my dude. Total Force. I just really like Persona. Yeah. Specifically four. You know, played... you know, we don't have you in the game, so I played Mars next to the thing. He's the ultimate right there. Living the eye on um... Marth is basically a Persona protagonist. Is he? I don't know much about the story itself, but he certainly has a look going for him in just a different time period. Uh, jump forward, just empty jump, just trying to make something out. Know, again, because it's hard to tell when ZSS will come right in as quick as she can and when she just wants to face out a little bit. That's so Despite, Despite everything that's happened, um, this has been pretty even so far. X almost securing the kill that he really needed. Oh. And right there, he actually did get the kill he wanted, which puts him in a great Oh wait, no, that was... I really thought that that was, uh... The punk guy that died for some reason. I looked away and I heard a very feminine yell. Uh, no, no, no. And it is, like, that's one of the things that you can talk all day about the combo and pressure escape application, which is very true. That's not any less true. But just as like a, a random check of, hey, how much are you paying attention to the move pool right now, my dude? Um, with an invincible approaching move that can potentially not go out and kill like you did, can be scary as well. It's something that you really have to be mindful of, more or less, you have to grab the screen. Yeah. 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 Despite everything, um, they're within like 15% of each other, so this could honestly go either way. It just really depends on what kind of uh, advantage Bob will to get, because he has that kind of explosiveness. <laughs> X I mean, we saw how. Uh, oh. mm -hmm. All I do is, like, and it's very difficult to find a lot of bullets in that, but X only needs like one or two good things, and it really does go either way. That's true, it's just like the difficulty of landing those kind of hits is far higher. I feel like it's far higher for X than it is for Bonkai. Yes. Just because I, of I, the character's parameters. Oh, nice. That was a reaction up to that. If we didn't have to for pick. Uh, doesn't face too much of an edge guard on that one. Bonkai just playing it to take it back. Oh my god. That We're still alive, though. Oh. Alright. Alright, X is still in the game. He might be able to take this if he gets one really good hit. But you gotta be very careful because... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the fifth smash that, that Bonkai just kind of threw out and X ran into by mistake? Oh my goodness. Oops, smash. Side B. But, you know, I mean, if it works, it's not stupid. Never ever. No, I don't believe in that, actually. Something can be stupid and work. 
will say if it's stupid and it works and then you convince yourself not to do the smart things forever because of that yes but i think if specifically in the moment in a vacuum if it's stupid and it works it's not stupid if it becomes your context then maybe yes but i think bonkai knows that uh throwing out best tech is not always the answer it just it, it got him the win here it was the correct answer in this moment in time I'm not going to say that, uh, the way Bonkai was playing that was very much like he was hoping that, uh, the X was going to jump in each time. Mm. Especially because, like, the percent that he was at, like, X needed to, like, open Bonkai up. Like, you can see, like, much earlier in the match, like, there was several up smashes, uh, there were several, like, F's, uh, side Bs, etc. 